Hey crawler buddies, this is Tom with Tats BRC Rock Crawlers. Um, today I'm going to take a long walk and I'm going to take my little rig with me. Um, it's always been my perception, I don't know if it's anybody else, but you know with a mini you're limited on to just very small sections to crawl with and just really nitpicking every little line you could eke out of it because they're just so small and most of them have worm gear drives you know in the axles that you just don't take them on long trails you know hiking or crawling you know like hitting one of the big trails at Proline by the fire or, or Axial Fest or anything like that so I'm gonna go to a park where I normally do two miles and we're gonna see if it can make at least a mile and uh, We'll go from there, and uh, I'll let you know what the results are. Sorry guys, this is new to me. out of the way. Let's get back up on the road guys. It's starting it's gonna get dark here in a minute. Oh, before I 
head back, I just wanted to show you how beautiful it is up here. You know, that I like to take my walk to. Anyway, let's head back. Well, it finally stopped, and I would say that's about a mile and a half. So it didn't quite make the two miles, obviously. So if you wanted to go on a nice long hike, I would throw in a couple of extra batteries and you should be good. Thanks for watching, guys. Well, that was a adventurous run. Um, the rig went well over one mile. I would say just a little under a mile and a half and 1.2 miles of it was literally walking uphill that was slowly getting steeper and steeper till you hit the top at 1.2 miles. So I think if you put some sliders on it, you know, make some sliders or buy some sliders and run a saddle pack on each side, you know, uh, not only would it, that's going to drop your battery down three, three quarters of an inch, so a lower center of gravity, but you could run a longer battery on both sides. Then you could drop the electronics down to where the battery sits. Or you could do you could go old school and you could probably fit a battery on top of that servo. And uh, but like I said, uh, a couple of large 3S's on each side would not only give you more wheel speed, but would give you a longer range. Um, I'm liking this rig. I'm looking forward to uh, getting some wheels and tires for it. And uh, anyway, um, what do you guys think? I mean, was that a bust or not? Um, you know, uh, you're going to see the video here. You know, you already seen the video as, as I made it. So I'm hoping I got, you know, I only had my phone on a stick. So hopefully I got a lot of decent footage. It's not going to be the most exciting because we're just walking on gravel and, and uh, asphalt road. But at least it gives you an idea of how far it'll go stock. So you're not stuck in a 50 foot by 50 foot area just nitpicking every little crawling nick and cranny you can. You could take it on longer crawl. Uh, you know, if you just have a couple extra batteries or another battery with you. Anyway, you guys have a great night. And uh, I'm really enjoying this rig. Uh, thank you for pure to uh, FureTech for uh, just making some really awesome electronics and building this rig. Um, you know, I'm not sponsored by them or any way, but, um, you know, just got to give kudos where kudos is due. Uh, good night, guys.